This is the Thrunight TH30 V2 headlamp and EDC light. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. So before we begin, I just want to declare that this light was sent to me for testing and review and I did not pay for it. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video or from the sale of any of these lights. All right, so as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the physical and performance specifications of this light. I'll go over its modes of operation. Then of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. So just before we take a closer look at the Thrunite TH30 V2, I thought we'd take a moment to take a look at what else it came with. So this is the box that it arrived in, inside the box. The owner's manual and warranty information. Headland strap with mounting brackets. We'll be talking more about that in a moment. USB Type-C charging cable and a pair of spare O-rings and spare battery port cover. Let's put those out of the way, bring the light back in. Let's go over the physical specifications for the light. So to begin, it comes in at 4.23 inches or 107.5 millimeters. That's the overall length. The uh, diameter around the basal, around the top here, is one inch even, 25.5 millimeters, where the rest of the body comes in at 0.9 inches or 24 millimeters. The weight is 4.2 ounces or 120 grams, which is with the battery installed, and that battery is a 3500 milliamp 18650 style. And of course, it has a waterproof rating of IPX8 and an impact rating of 1.5 meters. Going over the performance specifications for this light, it has four main levels starting at low of 30 lumens, lasting for 55 hours. It has a medium low of 131 lumens, lasting for 13 hours. It has a medium level of 345 lumens, lasting for five hours and it has a high of 1256 lumens. That'll only last for four and a half minutes before dropping down to 867 lumens, which would last another 111 minutes. It has three special modes, turbo coming in at 3200 lumens, for two minutes before dropping down to 853 lumens for 110 minutes. It also has a firefly of 0.3 lumens lasting for 29 days. And it does also have an SOS mode, which will come in at 665 lumens lasting 350 minutes. It does have a beam distance of 170 meters with a candela of 7290. Operation of the Thrunite TH30 V2 is very simple. There is one large on-off button located at the very top of the light, and it's just a matter of a simple press down on the light. And then you can cycle through the four main modes. So by pressing down, I can cycle up through, low, medium, low, medium, and high, and it will just keep going up and down again. If I turn the light off and back on, it'll come on at whatever the last lumen setting is. Turning the light off, if I want to access Firefly, I just hold down on the button and Firefly will be illuminated. Turn it off again. If I do turn the light back on, again, it comes back to whatever the last lumen setting was. To access Turbo, you double press either from the on condition or off condition, either one will work and you can see how much brighter that is. If I want to access SOS, I triple press from either the on condition or the off condition. And you can see it running through the SOS cycle. Now, as far as battery capacity indicator, while the light is in operation, it, you will have a blue light showing if you have battery strength between 21 and 100%. The light on top will turn red once it drops down to below 20% and is still above 11%. And once the battery power drops down below 10%, you'll see a flashing red light. If I plug the light in for charging through the USB Type-C charging port here, the light on top will turn red until it is fully charged, at which point it will turn blue. Having gone over the physical and performance specifications as well as the modes of operation for the Thrunite TH30 V2, now it's time to get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the 
through night TH30 V2. I don't think it'll pick up the firefly. I can just barely see it myself out here in the dark. Let's see if we can bring it up to low. Low is providing a little bit of light, not enough to hike with. Let's see if we can bring it up to media or medium low, that is. Medium. High. And turbo. Again, pretty bright, but not a lot brighter than high, but there is a difference. It's still with this wide floodlight. You don't see far into the woods, but you do see everything around you. I think I can probably get the SOS going here. And off and back on at the last lumen setting, which was high. All right, a few closing thoughts on the Thrunite TH30 V2. One of the things I haven't talked about yet is, of course, the head st headlamp strap. So I removed the two-way pocket clip, which, of course, is also a very useful item to have, and it's one of the things that help make it an everyday carry light. But what I wanted to show you was the headlamp strap with the light installed. So let me put this on and then I'll pass a few comments on it. So unlike a lot of lights that I've tested lately, this strap has offered me plenty of adjustment that I can put it around my kind of oversized head and there's still have enough adjustment on this that I can wear this over a beanie or a toque. Now one comment I will say is as you can see there is a center strap going over the top and that is quite necessary because of the weight of this light. Anytime you've got an 18650 light that you're going to be wearing on your head they are a bit heavy and if I didn't have this strap I think I would find that the light would bounce around a little bit but once it's installed with that strap and adjusted to your head very easy to angle it whichever way you want and of course operate it with the end button here all right let me take that off and have a few more thoughts so one of the things i really appreciate about this life are the extended run times in the low medium or low medium low and medium uh, levels, but not so much in the high or turbo. And of course, I don't see myself operating the light while I'm out hiking in those levels too often. Those are probably level, uh, lighting levels that I'll use if I use this as an EDC light, which is probably something I'll do more often than use it as a headlamp. I guess that's one of the nice things. It works well for either of them. As you saw in the outdoor shots, this light has a good wide floodlight but has a distinct central spotlight as well so you get kind of the best of both worlds at least for what this light is intended for which is everyday carry and hiking in the woods there i much prefer to have that floodlight to be able to see uh, what's out to the either side of me as i move through the woods but still have enough beam cast that i can see forward far enough on the trail to be able to pick up anything that's up ahead of course so yeah i like this light a lot. It has more power than I'm likely to use on a regular basis. Not to say that you have to use those higher levels. I, as I mentioned a minute ago, I see them as a real advantage when using this as an EDC light and I need to have that extra intensity just momentarily to be able to see something that I need to identify. Okay, those are my thoughts on the Thrunite TH30 V2. I open it up to you. Do you have any comments or any questions about this light? If you do, please put them in the comments section below. Of course, I'll be putting all the information I gave you in the video description, as well as links to where you can purchase this light, or at least find out more about it if you're interested. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore, and take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.